Hello, fellow enthusiasts, or super nerds, or whatever. Anyway, we're starting a special project by popular demand about an E85 conversion kill shot. So, motor test stand thing right here. This is probably going to be a multi-part video, because why not? Essentially, you got to put bigger injectors in. You don't have to. It's got 100 pound an hour injectors in it already. I just happen to have some 160s. I'm going to put it in here, make sure it runs on gas. And then convert the fuel system and calibrations and actually make a pretty cal. So, weirdly enough, if you decide to do this and it runs good on the small block, I don't mind sharing the actual uh, fuel table and calibration. So, it's just a whole thing. Anywho, I'm going to avoid the warranty on this one right here, as I like to do. Too easy. And fuel injectors, just a quickie right there. That one. This one is Iftka, right there. One injector, two injector. Seasons, right there. 100 pound an hour fuel injector. EV6, Pico body, nothing wrong. We got these right here. These are 160s. Let's see what we got going on here. Right there. Bam, 160 pounds an hour. Physically the same body, but they, they flow a bit. So, no worries there. Gotta be careful about the O-rings and not damage them. Connector goes right back in. Yeah, it's funny, these, these connectors, even though it's the same kind of squishy type that I've used before on other throttle bodies of different manufacturers, I'm sure if you know, you know. They, uh, these things will like to come out, but we're, we're a little bit firmer material. They actually clip in real nice, and they're not real squishy. They're a little squishy, but not too squishy. They actually will click in just like that. You can pull them on, you can pull on them pretty good, but yeah, essentially that's not a biggie. You see, <sighs> just like that. That's, that's that. A little bit of pressure. You gotta be careful. You gotta make sure it goes in so it doesn't actually, you know, destroy the O-rings and end up with a fuel leak, which is a good reason to pressure test this one afterwards, but we'll do that. Actually, the unit on here that I'm running today is a Royal Flush. So we'll see if we can actually uh, go through and make it run on a 160 pound an hour injector without having to do anything real special in the fuel. <laughs> Exciting. I've been wanting to do this test for a while just because I got some customers that like to do or try to do some E85 stuff. And, you know, they just want to hit the button and make it work. But the reality is, you know, these systems don't have the option yet for E85. But it'll probably be a thing in the future just because there's there's such a fan base for E85 compatibility. Oh, look at that. I pulled it right out. So, no, that one went there. Also, it didn't clip my fingernails either, so it works really good. Yeah, our fuel bowl's actually got some pretty good room in there, so we're not crowding any wires or pinching any wires. A little extra goo here too easy too easy clip it right in make sure it goes you know if you don't get these in right they don't really uh they don't have a great time it's got a certain kind of feel to it it's hard to explain but when they go in you know they're in
notice that this injector o-ring is a little bit fatter than this one. I like that. Just goes right in, does a great job. Come on now. There we go. Make sure we get it all tucked. Setting in here, looking good. Line it up, feel for it. It's got a kind of massage room in there. There we go. Good job. There we go. Essentially, you don't even have to like crazy tighten these things down. You just gotta kind of snug them a smidge. Makes it pretty, pretty smooth and easy. So we're going from an AE-1004 fuel injector to an AE-1006. And in the future, probably what they'll do is when you order one of these things, it'll be uh, one of those situations where they go ahead and have them E85 ready and already in there. I know they're working on a flex fuel application for these, so that's exciting. A proper flex fuel sensor so you can have a throttle body that does flex fuel. So let's uh, slide that out the way. Make sure to leak some fuel, as I like to do. Yeah, on these, it's uh, not really too bad. I mean, I'm gonna have to steal the vacuum caps off of this because I already stole the ones off of that one. I kind of thought about in these videos of actually doing like background music for when I'm not talking, but this is not a high production. This is an iPhone and a guy that puts stuff together. So maybe if I start making money on this, I mean, let's be honest, probably not, but I'm keeping an open mind. Now, when I do fire this one up, the IAC value will be a little bit different. Also, I got a pretty janky setup for my ignition wiring and stuff over here for getting the signal onto the throttle body. But it's not the, not the end of the world, just a thing. And I gotta tell you, I love doing this stuff. Oh, oh, I got it stuck. I got it stuck. 
Let's get rid of my vacuum leaks here. These caps are okay. They're real squishy, though. But the problem with them... That one's not a standard one, but the problem with them is... Say you're getting your timing dialed in and it costs with the old intake or you got a, a lean situation because you, you haven't done the uh, acceleration correction versus TPS value. It'll pop all the caps off and they go scattered all around the garage. Or in my case, the backyard. Feels good for the skin, right? Let's see. We got that, that, that. Oh, this one. Scooch. Scooch. All right. Let's get it over here. Royale flush with cheese. Let's see if I can just change that. Injector flow rate. Biggins. No, this one won't let me do it. Crud. Well, this means I have to cut the film and put a different ECU on. You know what? I'm okay with that. If you're okay with it, we'll just deal with it. Peace. I had to use some uh, engineering level software on this one. But essentially, at this point, see it, it pulsed and stuff. So we got it in here. We'll make sure that the injectors are where they're supposed to be. Yes, it did take the change. 160 pound an hour injectors. The basic software doesn't allow you to go beyond the parameter of the injectors they put in there, but I have some very spicy software as it goes that allows me to change, well, honestly, whatever I want. So, let's, uh, let's give it a start.